Uh, how much farther, Mr. Patterson? Are you sure you remember the way? You ain't got the stomach to scratch the monkey where it itches. We can call off our dogs anytime. Don't mean you ain't got to square up with the dough. You said it wasn't far from the road, and we've been walking for seven hours. Well, blame God for the landscape, not me. Now, come on. Pretty sure it's closer than me by the time I get to page three of a porno magazine. She had more moxie than I'd given her credit for. Most dames in heels would have called it a day by hour four. I wouldn't have laid a C-note on it if you'd told me that four days ago when she walked into my office, scared and quivering like the maraca player in some gin room samba band. Well, now that I got my head on straight, why don't you continue? As I was saying, I haven't seen him for close to 25 years. I don't even know if he's still alive. Logically, I, I know he isn't, but there's still hope, you know. A little sliver that he's found himself a new life. That he's out there somewhere. Well, betting on hope always comes up snake eyes. When that's all that's left, you got no choice but to throw the dice and believe. What do you say? Will you take my case? As long as you don't gamble away my fee, I'm your man. Speaking of... What do you mean, speaking of? I'm more man than most men. I don't care what you heard. I meant, speaking of your fee. I'm gonna have to dust off the time machine on this one. 25 years is like a lifetime. If you die tragically young. A long time. People ain't gonna remember much. They're gonna care even less. A lot of legwork and overtime. It's important to me. I, I don't care about the money. Well, you don't care about the money, eh? I'm gonna need $600,000. 90% up front. Dollars. $500,000. $599,000. $2,000. $598,000. $2,000. $2,000. She was trying to hardball me, but I wasn't taking the bait. I had all day to dance this little dance of hers. I had a feeling she'd be the first one to get a blister. $500,000. And ninety-seven thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars! I could see the hint of a pattern developing. I'd lulled her into my cleverly laid trap. She was expecting business as usual, so I decided to throw her off the scent with a little bit of reverse psychology. One thousand dollars. Deal. That's everything you need to get started. I'm going to call you in a week to see what you've come up with. Just so you know, I still ain't happy about you screwing me out of my fee consider us even for making me hike through hell's half acre. You wanted me to find him, I found him. It ain't my fault where he ended up. I still can't understand how you did it. I mean, I've been trying for years, and no offense, but I'm a lot smarter than you are. I'm none taken. Your coconut's probably all mixed up from the exertion and fantasizing about my man parts. I tell you this, though, it wasn't easy. Old Butchie caught his share of lumps on this one. 
Friend was mixed up with a bad element, gone pretty deep underground. Them's the kind of people that don't like having a dick poke into their private things. I had to call in a few favors with a gal pal of mine. actually a nice place. Yeah, sorry about that. Most of my usual hangouts won't let me back in on account of that thing I do with my genitals. I don't want to know. Apparently neither did they. Listen, I need your help with a case I'm working. The clock's ticking and I'm shooting blanks so far. It's a missing person sort of thing, kind of. Well, I can call around, do some background checks. Social insurance, DMV, the usual. Now I tried all that. Came up emptier than the Pope's swear jar. You can't be alive and not have some history somewhere. That's his picture. Much information as my client could give me. Been AWOL since 76. You're joking, right? Dame comes to me with a problem and a handful of greenbacks. Logic don't mean jack. She asked for my help, I said I'd help her. Yeah, but 25 years, Butch? He can't still be alive. I find him, I collect. Dead or alive. But what do you want me to do? Usual channels aren't exactly going to be fruitful for this one. Well, word on the street was he was mixed up in the illegal fight racket. No refs, no rules. Last one standing gets to hear his anthem. I don't figure he was doing it voluntarily. I seem to remember your paper running a story about that a few years ago. Yeah, and the reporter working it committed suicide. Or so the story goes. I take it you and the M.E. don't pee in the same urinal. I just don't see why a man would go to all the trouble of stabbing himself that many times when he knew he was going to shoot himself in the head anyways. Some people are just show-offy. So you figure you can track down his files? His files were never found. Whatever contacts he might have made, he took with him to the grave. There's got to be something. There's always something. Just rumors, you know, talk around the water cooler. I'm all ears. Well, for what it's worth, the rumor mill always led back to a man named Jimmy. Jimmy who? The only man who might have known has kept his mouth shut for a lot of years. John Kelpin, the editor who left just before I got hired. Some say he was scared away. Why don't you go pick his brain and see what comes out? If he hasn't talked yet, I doubt he will for me. What if you offer to serve us him sexually? Butch. Okay, fine. Tell you what, you track him down and you tell him. But if he doesn't give you the information, then I'm gonna find him. And I'll service him sexually. He's not gay. Well, neither am I. That's what makes it a threat. I'll talk to him. Perfect. Get back to me in a couple of days. I'm gonna track down them guys running the illegal fights. I figure it's still going on. See if I can't get a hold of a few of the old timers, see if they remember anything. Why does she put up with you? Like you don't know. Just keep pretending, baby. That's real sweet. So she found out who the reporter's informant was and that led to this. Nah, that lead came up drier than a Mormon's liquor cabinet. She pointed me in the right direction, though. She just didn't know it. That's because she don't know jack squat about circus, clowns, Celtic mythology, and astrology. And you do. Well, we're here, ain't we? We're in the middle of the woods and we're probably lost. Hopefully you do know something about astronomy, so maybe we can pick a star out of the sky and guide us back to civilization. Because, I'm sorry, no offense, but I'd hate to think that you're the last man I'm going to see before I die of exposure. Would it help if you were dying of something else? Like what? Scurvy? What about Lyme disease? How about that Ebola virus? You know, no. No, it really wouldn't matter what I was dying of. And given the option, I'd rather die alone. Let's say you had to die with someone, though. 
Me or Stephen Hawking? Oh, Stephen. Uh -huh. Me or Charles Starkweather? Charles. Charles was a spree killer, you know. I know. All right. Me or mass murderer and infamous iron-fisted dictator Joseph Stalin? I always wanted to learn how to speak Russian. Me or John Denver? He's dead! I know. I know a little bit about planes, too. John dead or John alive? John dead. John exactly the way he is right now. like shooting fish in a barrel. It'll be a cold day in hell before some dame decides spending time with the rotting corpse of John Denver beats hanging her hat on Butchie's peg. Well, we should probably get going before you. Get all giggly and make a fool of yourself fawning over me. You didn't tell me how it all turned out. It was like I was saying. Blanche was the one who pointed me in the right direction. What do you got for me? Not much. I talked to John Kelpin. He wasn't much help. I think he knows more than he's letting on, though. There's only one other man who worked back then, but his answers were just strange. Dog in a sweater strange or Jeffrey Dahmer strange? Well, I asked him about the illegal fighting story and the death of the reporter working on it. He said he overheard the reporter on the night he died talking to someone on the speakerphone. Whoever he was speaking to said, the Mary Andrews have convoked to initiate their ritual of the ages, to purge the Foth upon the dawning of the first full moon of the sixth sword. My guess is the man on the other end was his informant. I have no idea what the message means, but whatever it meant, it apparently scared the hell out of the reporter. What? Nothing you need to worry your pretty face about. Let's just say I got a hunch your reporter friend put his penis in the wrong blender. Somebody hit puree. That phone message made sense to you? Didn't answer all my questions. But it's enough to let me know which keyhole I should be peeking through. I'm gonna have to borrow your makeup and as much money as you can lend me till payday. When do you get paid? No, I meant your payday. What the hell's a Mary Andrew? It's a clown. I don't get the connection. Clowns ain't all big hats and pies. They're like the mob, they're vicious, evil bastards hell-bent on chaos and destruction. Next to Taylor's, clowns are about as bad as it gets. Supposing what you just said to me actually makes sense? I don't understand what clowns have to do with illegal fighting in this investigation. Well, neither did I. But I had a pretty good idea where I could bend the ear of some people who did. Give me a bottle of gin and a cup of some kind. Hypothetically speaking, a man waltzed in here with enough C notes to paper mache a walrus back in a pug for a backroom brew, ha ha, given five to one odds. What are the chances any of these schmoes would take up the offer? Hypothetically speaking, that sounds like the type of question an undercover cop might come up with. I ain't blue, Pally. Tell you what, princess. Why don't you make the rounds, see if your customers need anything, collect a few glasses. I'll be waiting here. All I had to do now was sit and wait. All clowns are greedy and evil. Sooner or later, the red nose I was scouting would get to thinking about the odds and start twitching. What a place this was. I've seen my share of repulsive and disturbing things in my time. 
You know, one time I saw a Great Dane having non-consensual sex with a wiener dog. This place took the cake. I aimed on getting what I needed and legging it before any of it rubbed off on old Butchie. Hypothetically speaking, if a new clown in town, back in a pug with a punch, wanted to drop a dime and have him dance with the big dogs, he might find a reason to take a wrong turn on his way to the washroom and find himself in the back office talking to a man with a kennel full of whoop ass. Word has it, you're back in a hot prospect. Word don't know from Shinola. Recognize him? Now hang on. You're not a clown. I'm just a guy looking for some answers so I can cash a paycheck. I ain't in for busting your hump for pimping backroom knucklers. I need to know where he laid down roots. Give me that bottle, will you? No, I was hoping that time would heal the pain, but some things get into you so deep the hurt never goes away. I changed my mind. Keep talking, pal. Well, he's dead. I guess you already knew that. It wasn't always the way it is now. Fight game. Maybe I had to get out of it. When I got into the game, it was simple. Two combatants in a makeshift ring, hitting and biting and kicking until one of them was dead. Or they were so uh, crippled with pain that they couldn't continue. Fun, you know. But now, it's all about money and corporate sponsorships. This company's fighter can he beat that company's fighter. And corporate logos all over the place. I ain't here for no history lesson, prick. He died in the ring. Never had a chance. His opponent was trained from birth to be a fighter. Once he got a taste of blood, it was all over. Now, some of us jumped in the ring to try to stop the carnage, but <laughs> it was too late. I spent a week in the hospital for my efforts. I'm gonna need to know where the body is. I buried him myself. I'll draw you a map. Ways up ahead here, I figure. Won't be long now, hot pants. Did Zippy say whether or not he died quickly? Without much pain? I'm not gonna lie to you. That just takes too much effort and thinking. Your boy made his living in the ring. Win or lose, that don't come without a bucket full of hurt. You two were pretty close. Well, he was family. I loved him. Still remember the day my mom and dad brought him home all bundled up. He was so new to the world. He was so vulnerable. That's what he was like until he was taken from us and became what he became. He wasn't born violent. I want you to understand that. What kind of world is it where men could take him and he could be turned into a brutal savage? I don't know. I gave up trying to figure out the world years ago. First time I dropped too large on a transvestite prostitute. Some of them look so much like women, you can't really tell until it's curtain call. And Well, by that, you know, the way I got things figured anyway, it's, if I've already spent the money, someone better be doing something to me.
Just up here, I think. Even though her heart knew, seeing it real must have been like a kick in the stomach. Oh, it's funny. I just remembered he used to call and wake me up every morning. I'd forgotten about that. I just hope wherever you are now, you found more happiness and peace than this world ever showed you. He sounds like he was a grade-A cock. Well, he was. He was the best rooster that a girl could ask for. <laughs> Look. I don't suppose it's too often in a girl's life that she gets her hands on a cock that treats her right. Tell me that we went all this trouble and spent all this time just so you could make a very cheap and very obvious genital joke. You should be ashamed of yourself. Imagine how the writer feels. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Maybe it's best you don't know. Well, let's get going. It's going to take us 12 hours to get back to the car. Good morning. It's a lovely day for a walk, isn't it? That's what that is. How about that? We could have driven here all along. Well, live and learn, that's my motto. How's about the rest of my dough? Dames, go figure. <laughs>